Welcome to today's tutorial. These tutorials are aimed at helping out people who are just starting out with Photoshop, so I try to make them as user-friendly as possible. They are designed for the beginner. Remember, you can access and download the start image in the description box below. You might want to take a look at the last video that I did, which introduced you to this idea of getting shapes into a landscape. You can see that video by clicking the card in the top right hand corner. As always, we're going to start by resetting Photoshop to make sure that your screen looks exactly the same as my screen. In order to do that, come up to the window option and choose workspace and then come down to reset essentials and go ahead and click reset essentials. Now this box, this learning box on the right appears, it's quite annoying. So I'm just going to minimize it by clicking collapse there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all my layers, delete all my layers, and your screen should look exactly the same as mine once you have downloaded this image and put it in your Photoshop. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my layer by going Command and J. So I now have a duplicate layer there. I'm going to double click this and I'm going to call it Triangle. Then I'm going to click out of this and now I need to create the actual shape. So I'm going to come down here to create a new layer, create a new layer, and I'm going to double click in this layer and I'm going to call it shape. I'm going to click out of that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the eyeballs of my two background layers and I only have my shape available to work with. And I'm going to go ahead and draw my shape out now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the polygon lasso tool and then I'm just going to go ahead and click and draw a really big triangle like this. And when you come to the bottom leg here, you just double click it and it will close the triangle off for you. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this in. I'm gonna come over here to my gradient tool. You will probably have yours on the gradient tool. I'm gonna right click the gradient tool and choose paint bucket. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill it in with a color. Black's fine, white's fine, it doesn't really matter. The next step is to come up to my selection and then I'm going to go modify and then I'm going to go contract. Now I'm going to choose 100 pixels and I'm going to hit OK there and that's brought the size of my selection in a little bit. Now I need to fill this inner triangle but with a different color so you can come and choose these two arrows here or you can just hit X to switch it over to your foreground color and I'm going to click that in and fill it in with white. Now I've finished with a selection around the edge here. So I'm going to go Command and D to deselect my selection. And now I'm going to come up to my magic wand tool, shortcut W. And now I'm going to use my magic magic wand tool and click in the black triangle and just have this selection around the edge here. Now I'm finished with my shape, so I'm going to click out there so I can't see anything at the moment. I'm now going to click into my triangle layer. This has now become my active layer and then I view it by clicking the eyeball next to it. So ensure that you are on the triangle layer and it is highlighted light gray. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to initiate a layer mask by clicking add layer mask down here. It's the round one and I now have a layer mask and you can see the effect of what has been achieved here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring the background layer in so you can see the effect of what we're going to do now. So I'm going to bring my background layer in and it looks like the triangle has disappeared because it is exactly on top in the exact location. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a different layer style. So I just double click, not in the writing, but to the side of the layer, double click and this will give me my layer style options. Now in this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the stroke layer style. Now at the moment, it's on color white. You can of course click out of here and choose blue, for example, and now it gives us a nice blue stroke. Or you can choose one of the greens from the grass and we have a very slight green. I'm going to go back to white because I think white is the most effective. I'm going to hit OK there. Now you can of can of course choose to increase the size of that stroke but I always find that keeping it to a very small stroke of you know two or three pixels px means pixels is the best way and most effective I really like that I'm going to go ahead and hit okay 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a great little trick of duplicating this triangle layer a number of times. So I'm going to hold down Command and I'm going to hit J four times. One, two, three, four. And what that's done is that has given me the effect of creating multiple layers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on my top triangle layer, Command and T, and this is going to allow me to transform the layer. I'm just going to bring it in a little bit like that. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to go ahead and press Enter, and that applies the transform. I'm then going to come down and click to make my next layer active. Command and T, bring it down, and again, I'm happy with that, press Enter. Come down to the next one, Command and T, grab the corner, bring it down, I'm happy with that, I'm going to press Enter. Final one, click this one down here, Command and T, drag down the corner, I'm happy with that, go ahead and press Enter. Now, my layers palette is getting really confusing here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my life a little bit easier for myself, and I'm going to put all the, these layers into a group. So in order to do that, I'm going to click up to my very, very top layer here, and then I'm going to add what looks like a folder. This is actually a group, so it's called Group 1. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag my triangle into the group, Click the next triangle layer, into the group, next triangle, into the group, and next triangle, into the group, like this. Oh, final triangle, into the group. So I've got all my triangles in the group, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, click this little arrow here, and now we can see that I can use, I can modify all my triangles just as one group. I can use the eyeball to reveal them or hide them or whatever I want. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, modify this a little bit by coming up to the Move tool. And I want to make sure that we have Auto Select box on, and I want to make sure that it says Group. Now that I've got that, I can start doing some things to it. For example, I can go Command and T, and I can edit the size of all the triangles in one go. I kind of like that, so I'm going to press Enter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this group by right-clicking and going Duplicate Group, which is right here. Be very, very careful, though, because it is one click away from being Delete Group, and trust me, you don't want to do that. Don't ask me how I know. So I'm going to hit to Delete Group, I'm going to hit OK, and now I've got two groups. Then, with my Move tool and Auto Select Group enabled, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of them, and I can move this group uh, around like that. Or you could even go Command and T, and you could rotate it if you wanted to. Whatever you wanted to do, you are welcome to do. I kind of happen to like mine over here, so I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, the final thing we're going to do in this image is we're going to create a gradient of color. So in order to do that, I click at the very top of the layer stack here, and then I come down to my adjustment layers down here, and I click an adjustment layer, and mine have gone off screen a little bit, which is slightly annoying. I want to choose the black and white option. And what this will do is this will create a new layer for me here, which is black and white. And as you can see, if I hide or reveal the layer, it shows me that this layer here, this adjustment layer, is changing everything to be black and white. Now what I want to do is I want to click into the layer mask. I want to come over to my it's now a paint bucket. We want to right click it and choose gradient. We want to make sure that we're going from white to black up here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click from one side of my image to the other side. And what you, could, what, what you will see is the gradient has gone from black to white. Anywhere that is black, this layer is invisible and obviously the colors from below shine, and anywhere that is white, this layer is visible, and the black and white effect remains. So there you have it. We've come to the end of today's tutorial. I do hope you find the video useful. If you have, please give it a like. Please also remember you can follow the other videos in the playlist by clicking the icon which is provided. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.